Now let's solve another set theory related word problem. Question is saying here, in a group of 120 students, 90 take mathematics, 72 take physics, and if 10 students take neither of the two subjects, then how many students take both subjects, all right? So these are the highlighted points we need to consider. So in a, in a group or you can say in a class, the total number of students, okay? So first I'm writing total number of students in group. In group, that means the complete number of students. So that's our universal set, which is which is containing uh, the the group is containing every students, right? Which are taking mathematics, which are uh, not taking mathematics, which are taking physics, which are not taking even physics, which are not even taking both of the subjects. All right, every every all type of and those students which are taking even both subjects, all students falls under this. And such complete number of students is how much? 120. So this is the total number of students in a group. And now what we will be doing? The number of students taking mathematics. So, uh, number of students in, uh, or simply, or you can say, taking math. All right, taking math. Uh, let me suppose that uh, N M and M is representing the number of students who is taking math, and those are 90 students. And again, uh, total number of students uh, taking uh, physics. All right, the students who are taking physics. Let me represent by N and P, P for physics, all right? There are 72. And uh, number of students uh, uh, taking neither of two, all right? Neither of two. So neither of two, how you understand means, uh, they are not even learning math, not even physics, all right? So uh, first I'm writing uh, total of students which are learning math and physics, right? That is M union P and I'm giving complement means not those students at how much 10 all right so uh, we can solve this now now we need to find out uh, number of students who which are uh, uh, taking math as well as physics you know both students both uh, subjects learning not the students the students who are learning math also and physics also how many students are there so now the, you can solve this problem with the help of Venn diagram also very easily and without using Venn diagram also all right so here uh, uh, let me try to solve this by the Venn diagram okay uh, let's represent in the Venn diagram let's represent above data so uh, to make the Venn diagram again I need to make a rectangle right and then two circles because we have two subjects right and subjects or you can say seats are represented by the circles you know already we have deal all right okay so here uh, let me give here u is of 120 and now see how many strings are learning both that we don't know that 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 falls here let me suppose this is representing m and this is representing the strengths which are learning physics so uh, the strengths which are not learning anything is 10 all right so 10 will be outside because they are not learning even math not physics all right and now let me suppose the strengths which are learning math as well as physics is x okay and the total math learners were 90 from 90 i already uh, write here x means uh, x may be um, maybe any number right so the left one is 90 minus x similarly here physics total physics learner was 72 and x i have already written because they were learning physics as well as math right so uh, i need to just subtract now 72 minus x right uh, x right so this is the total number of students means 90 minus x is learning just math x is number of students are learning math as well as physics and 72 minus x students are learning uh, just physics and 10 students are learning, uh, learning not even uh, any of these two uh, these are uh, neither of the subjects they are learning okay now uh, our universal set is what actually the students which are learning just math the students which are learning just physics the students which are learning math and physics I'm talking about this part right and the students which are neither learning math nor physics all right Okay, so here if you see properly, number of students which are learning math, this one, all right, and number of students which are learning physics, this one, and number of students which are learning both math and physics, this one, and number of students which are not learning math as well as physics is outer region, all right, this, this outer region, that makes complete out you. 
and now let's try to solve this okay so how many students are all together all together there are 120 students and in which math learners are now 90 minus x and uh, physics learner are 72 minus x and both learning are uh, both uh, subjects learners are x number of students and none of them none of the subjects learners are 10 so uh, I got here plus x I got here minus x all right so this is my 120 and now this is 90 and then 10 and then 72 90 and 10 100 and plus 72 this is 172 minus x all right so uh, x I'm taking into the right side so my x will be 172 minus 120 so how much is my answer so 2 I'm gonna get 52 students so there are 52 students which are learning both uh, math as well as physics all right uh, the question was asking uh, how many students are uh, students take both so there are 52 students which are taking both subjects right we got answer 52 so uh, here how much we got we got here 52 and there we had 90 minus x so now 52 is here so we'll subtract from 90 we'll subtract uh, uh, 52 so we'll get we'll get 38 all right and those strengths which are learning just physics so 72 minus 52 that is 20 and those strengths which are outside that is 10 so now if you collect everything see 10 which are not learning any of the subjects and 20 which are learning just physics so that is 30 and 30 and 52 82 82 and again 38 that's 120 all right so all together we got 120 and see how the uh, students are distributed according to the subjects this is how we need to solve the um, this uh, uh, word uh, problems of state theory right based on our concept that we learned we need to use every concept that we learned all right uh, we'll be solving a lot of problems so it will help you and if you have any other problems uh, somehow like this uh, if you're not understanding or you're not able to solve then you can send me I'll try to solve it, alright? Catch you in the next video. Goodbye.